There's huge news tonight in the case of Brianna Dennison. The 19-year-old college co-ed vanished January 20th in the middle of the night during a slumber party in Reno, Nevada. We already told you that police said Brianna's kidnapper was linked to one sexual assault in the same Reno area. Now police say he's linked to two. And tonight, they are investigating a third assault and whether or not that is linked. These are the sexual assaults that are linked to Brianna's kidnapper. December 16th, in the middle of the night. November 13th, in the evening. And now an October 22nd sexual attack might be linked. Todd Renwick, Assistant Chief of the University of Nevada, Reno Police, joins us live in Reno. Todd, what are the similarities or what makes you think that this could possibly be linked, this October 22nd uh, sexual assault to Brianna? Well, Greta, I think the timing has a lot to play in this uh, investigation. Um, you know, we have some physical descriptors to go by, uh, but we don't have any forensic evidence to leak anything to uh, the Brianna Dennison case at this point. What kind of assault, a sexual, not, not the details of the sexual assault, but was this a, a car pulling up on a young woman walking? I mean, what are the details of the October 22nd? No, we didn't get a vehicle descriptor. We got clothing. Uh, we got a partial... Uh, facial description, uh, enough for a composite. Uh, our concern with composites is their renderings. Um, they're not accurate, so we want to be careful with the public uh, viewing those uh, to let them know that these can um, misrepresent the actual description of a suspect. Now, the one that has been linked by DNA, the December one, I think it was, was rather pe it's peculiar that uh, grabbed a woman, brought her in a truck, sexually assaulted her, but it eventually drove her home or something peculiar like that. There was a baby, uh, baby's shoe inside the truck. Anything like that in the October 22nd uh, assault? No, nothing to link it in, in uh, that sense, uh, other than some similar clothing description. Um, with some uh, nylon sweatpants. Um, th that's about all we have. How far away is the where the assault occurred on October 22nd to where Brianna was last known to be that, that night where she spent the night? Uh, if, you, if you take the parking garage in, in perspective to the uh, sexual assault um, that happened in uh, December, we're probably looking at 200 to 300 yards. So it's extremely close. Yeah, fairly close. Uh, and the, uh, were the three women essentially as assaulted the same way, or, was there, or were there different details? Uh, there, there's a few different details. But essentially. Um, well, well, but essentially. And essentially the same. Anyway, um, Assistant Chief, thank you very much. And uh, we'll, anything we can do to help to put out any information about it, we'll be glad to do it. And uh, everyone needs to be on guard and, and catch this person. Thank you, sir. Great. We appreciate it. Thank you.